Hey guys, so today I wanted to film a get ready with me for you guys, so that is why I'm doing my intro without my face on yet. But yeah, I just wanted to do a get ready with me on just kind of my everyday look, um, my go-to everyday makeup look that I do. Now of course this is my go-to if I have like an hour and a half to get ready, but if I have only like an hour then I seriously will just do like my face and mascara because that's how long it takes me to do all that. So this is if I have like a little bit extra time but I still want to do just like an everyday natural kind of look. But first of all, before I get into the tutorial, um, I decided in my last video and told you guys that I was going to start focusing my channel more around God um, and more around my faith and just sharing it a little bit in each video. So instead of posting like a scripture at the beginning of the video, I figured, hey, why not just read the scripture that's in my, I have like this 365 devotion book. Like you read one like page each day and it has like for every day. Um, so I decided I would just read the scripture um, that is on here for today. This is Jeremiah 29 11, um, which says, For I know the thoughts and plans that I have for you, says the Lord, thoughts and plans for welfare and peace and not for evil, to give you hope in your final outcome. That scripture is super awesome and kind of just talks about how God has a plan for all of us and he has a plan for us to like do good. He doesn't have plans for evil in our life and that doesn't mean that bad things aren't going to come up but it does mean that he has a plan and a purpose and it's always going to be positive um, and exactly what we need for our lives. He has our entire lives mapped out and even when we don't know the next move he always knows the next move for us. Okay I'm going to stop rambling and we're going to go ahead and get into this get ready with me everyday kind of glam sorta look. <laughs> Okay, so I have already put um, moisturizer on my face. So first off, I'm just going to go in with my Makeup Forever Step 1 face primer. But I'm just going to take that and rub it into my face. I've actually realized that my favorite primer is the um, Too Faced Hangover RX primer. But I just ran out of that this morning. So I was like, well, looks like I'll be using this one. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. And I actually saw this, um, I think James Charles is the one that started this. But on his channel, he decided to start putting concealer all over his nose before he does his face. Just because if you have ever like contoured your nose, after putting your face makeup on, you've noticed that sometimes like contouring can get rid of like the base on your nose and kind of like move things around so he suggested to put concealer all over your nose and then go ahead and do your face how you normally would and it's supposed to make sure that when you do contour your nose nothing moves nothing disappears so I'm gonna go ahead and try that so I just put a little bit of that concealer on my little bare minerals concealer brush and I'm honestly just going to put this all over my nose I'm doing quite a bit just because when I saw him do it, he did a lot. So I was like, well, if James did it, I'll do it. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna go in with um, a damp beauty sponge and kind of blend that in. Okay, so now that <laughs> this is happening, um, I'm just gonna go in and start doing my face. So today I'm gonna go in with my Limelight by Alcone. Um, foundation. This one is in the shade All of One and obviously I like it a lot because it's like practically almost gone. I don't use this, actually I haven't used this ever on my channel I don't think, but I have been using this a lot recently. Um, I recently got the Makeup Forever HD stick and although I do like the coverage of it, it definitely oxidizes through the day and turns my skin super orange and I've noticed that this one does not, this Limelight one. It's actually kind of a cool tone so it stays more cool and it doesn't get super orange throughout the day and it also is extremely um, high coverage high coverage, full coverage, same thing on the skin. So I really like this foundation. It does not make me oily through the day. A lot of people actually will just dip their beauty blender into this like that and then dot it around their face. But I have actually noticed that it works better for me if I dig some out and put it on my hand and then go in with it, kind of like a liquid foundation. So basically what I usually do is I just take it 
and I just take my tweezers like the back end of tweezers because I don't have a little spatula thingy and then I get like probably a decent like a decent amount of it and I just put it right on the back of my hand and since this is a wax bound a wax based foundation it is going to warm up with your skin but I also will take my um, blissful body this is the miracle beauty oil and I just take this and I add like two drops of it to that foundation just to make it help it be more of like a liquid instead of a wax and then I will just like mixy mixy on the back of my hand it's a little bit chunky at first because it is a wax based foundation so I mean it's not going to completely liquefy right away you kind of have to rub it in and play with it a little bit but I end up really liking the texture of it and the coverage so after I mix it all around on my hand I kind of will just go in with my hand and start dotting all over on my face and see it even still has like a little bit of chunks right now but I'm just using my finger to kind of melt them into my skin and then I just go in with the flat side of this beauty sponge you can use whatever beauty blender you have and I just start blending it right into my face and as you can see this foundation is very full coverage if you use less product it will not be as light as full coverage um, you can make it more of a uh, medium coverage foundation so don't be super turned off by the full coverage amount of it if you're someone that has like rosacea or just acne scars um, or anything like that you would really like this foundation because it truly does cover up just about everything on your skin so I would definitely recommend it for those of you that struggle with that. If you do want to purchase this foundation, um, just comment below or get a hold of me somehow and I will send you the link to purchase it. I am a beauty guide for Limelight, which is what this foundation is from. So I do sell their products um, and I only tell you guys ones that I really love. If I don't love it, I won't tell you about it because I ain't trying to lie to you. So, oh, by the way, this is a shoelace. Don't judge me. <laughs> Okay, next up, I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Y'all already know. Okay, so honestly, this concealer, though, I have mixed emotions. I'm not even going to lie. Everyone is saying, like, OMG, it's the best concealer ever. Like, you'll never find anything better than it, blah, blah, blah. But I just, I don't know. Like, my thoughts are, if you, like blend it in it's super pretty but if you like go back and forth over it too many times and you blend too much the coverage like disappears like if you mess with it too much the coverage like goes away and it's almost like you didn't even put it there and a bunch of people have said like omg i love it because it basically sets itself like i don't even have to use a setting powder to set it and i'm like mine doesn't do that also, you don't realize the disgusting faces that you make when you do your makeup until you start filming and then you like catch yourself like. So now that I am all blended in and ready to go, I'm just going to go ahead and go in with my RCMA um, No Color Translucent Powder. And I just put mine in like this little tiny solo little thing um, because the packaging for the RCMA powder sucks more than anything ever so i just like to dip this in to here and then i will go in and set my under eyes and i just push it all over into my skin i've noticed that with this foundation if i bake my whole face and let it sit for a little while um it really ensures that my makeup will stay all day long i go in with a um skin colored powder after this because it does leave a little bit of a white cast on my face just because of the amount that i'm using but if you just use a little bit of this RCMA powder, it should not leave a huge white cast. But when you do this. Okay, so now I'm just going to go in with this super fluffy brush from the Morphe Diamond Elite Collection, I think. And basically, I'm just going to take it all around and start patting that powder into my face. I'm not moving. I'm like pushing into my face because this is going to make sure that the foundation underneath that powder is staying where I put it and it's not being moved around at all. Okay, so now that I have set my face with the translucent powder, I'm just going to go in with my Maybelline Better Skin I'm a Super Stay Powder. And this is just a pressed powder. Mine's almost gone. I need to get a new one. I'm going to take this little brush from... This is actually not a little brush. This is pretty big. But I'm going to take this one from the Morphe Diamond Elite Collection. And I think this is just like a buffing in brush. But I'm just going to press it into my powder 
and start setting my face over the translucent powder. I know you're probably like, dang girl, how many layers you trying to do? But when you're trying to make your makeup stay all day and look like you have flawless skin, you do what you gotta do. Okay, so now that my face is set, I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. And mine's broken. Do we see this? This is my life. I just ordered one last night, so a new one is on its way. But I'm gonna go in with this Sonia Kashuk brush. It's kind of like, it's pinched at the top. I don't know like brush lingo. Like some girls are like, I know that real hair brushes do this and synthetic do this. And this is called like a pinched contour. And I'm like, all I know is this is my fluffy brush and it's pinched at the top. And it works good for my contour. So I'm just gonna dust that into my Hoola bronzer. Try to get what I can out of it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go in and then I always carry it up to my forehead. Next up, I'm gonna go in with a little brush. This little brush from, I think it's called Eco Tools. Uh, mine broke. So that's what I'm dealing with right now. But I do like this brush for contouring my nose. So I'm just gonna deal with the brokenness. Everything's breaking on me, like what? Okay, so I just get a little bit of that product and then I tap it off and then I just go ahead and go in and I always make sure I'm bringing it up into my brows. Let's see, moment of truth, if the James Charles trick worked when it comes to contouring your nose and making sure if the product stays, it didn't like get rid of any product that was there. Hmm. Well, Mythbusters. This, I don't know what they say. This works. <laughs> okay, now that I'm done bronzing. Oh, actually, I usually take that big brush and I go over my nose again too just so those lines aren't so harsh. Okay, next up, I'm gonna be going in with my Morphe 9B blush palette, of course, because I this is like the only blush palette I use and I use it every day. Oh, this also broke. Wow. That just broke even more on camera. Well, now this is what we're dealing with. Cool, great. Anyways, um, this is middle one is my favorite everyday blush So I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with that. I love these blushes. They're super pretty. They're super pigmented. They're blendable and The center one has a tiny bit of a shimmer in it, which I really like I like to have a little bit of shimmer in my blush So uh, Morphe if you trying to like Send me a new palette for free. Maybe like make me an affiliate. I don't know <laughs> JK guys we're a long ways from that, but that'd be sick Okay, so now that I'm done with all this, I'm going to go ahead and start on the eyelids. So I'm going to be going in with my Makeup Geek. Ooh, it's so pretty. I'm going to be going in with my Makeup Geek palette. This was a custom made palette. Um, I don't know what these channels... They were part of like a fall collection. It was like the fall collection but it was just like the separate shadows so you had the choice of buying a separate palette that was like mag magnetic to stick them all in um, which is what I did so as you can see it has the mirror um, and then it has the shadows here they're super beautiful they're super um, blendable super pigmented I really like these shadows um, so this is usually what I will use for just like an everyday look I will go straight to this palette it's one of my go-to's I'm gonna start off by going in with peach smoothie Whenever I think of Peach Smoothie, I instantly think of Jaclyn. Am I the only one? Okay, so I'm just going to take that on my Morphe AC59. Um, and this is from the Angel Merino collection, so I don't know if they still carry it. But I got these brushes. It was my first actual um, makeup brush set, and so I was super excited. Anyways, I'm just going to lightly blend this all over into my crease. Blend and slay all day. Okay, next up, I'm just going to go ahead and go in with, I'm going to do a mixture of these two shades, um, which is Sidekick and Morocco. And I'm going to focus this on the outer part of my eye. I'm not going to bring this in like I did with the other one. So I'm just focusing that on the outer part of my lid. Are you guys as obsessed with the new um, song by What's Her Name? I think it's Noah. Is it Noah Cyrus? The one that's like... I never needed you like I do right now. You like my beautiful voice? Just kidding, guys. So you should end up with something along the lines of this. I'm going to go in with this super dark brown shade right here. It actually has a little bit of a shimmer to it, um, but when I put it on my eyelid, you won't be able to tell. This one is 
called Bada Bing. I like that. Bada Bing Bada Boom. So I'm basically just going to pack that brown shadow onto this brush and then tap it off. And I'm just going to focus that on the outer part of my eye. A lot of the times if you're doing your eyeshadow and you like first start out doing it and you just like place some colors down, blend them a little bit, and then like sit back and look at it, a lot of the times it won't look how you wanted it to. Um, and you kind of have to play around with it. Sometimes eyeshadow doesn't work out perfectly the first time. Sometimes it's not exactly what you thought it was. And you kind of just have to go back and forth and play with it, blend things out. Um, and it usually will end up coming together in the end if you just have patience and keep working with it. So I'm just taking that peach smoothie and I'm going back in with the big fluffy brush. And I'm like dipping it into the more of that peach smoothie and just really blending things out. Okay, so now that that is all blended out, I'm just going to go ahead and do the bottom lash line um, to kind of match up with it. So I'm going to take that super dark brown and I'm going to take it on a super little tiny thin brush. I'm going to tight line underneath my eye, but I'm just going to keep it on the outer portion. So I'm not going past like the center of my eye. And then I'm going to go ahead and go in with just a little tiny pencil brush and just blend that out. And then I'm also going to go in with that super fluffy brush that we used just for that peach smoothie shade. And I'm just really gonna blend out my under eye and really smoke it out. Okay, so now that we have that done, I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with my MAC Nylon Shadow. And I'm gonna take that on. What brush do I want to do? I'm gonna take that on this little tiny tart brush. And I'm just going to pop that on my inner corners to brighten up my eyes okay and then I'm also going to take that and I'm going to highlight my brow bone next up I'm going to go in with my Maybelline eye studio gel liner in blackest black and I'm just going to quickly line my waterline okay so I'm going to go in with this end of this um, AC 012 shadow crease duet crown brush that's a mouthful. I'm going to go in with this little side and I'm just going to blend that black eyeshadow or that black eyeliner. What this is going to do is it's just going to give it a more smoked out effect. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and I'm just going to coat my lashes in mascara real quick. Doesn't really matter to do a lot because I am just going to go in with falsies and pop them on real quick. You do not have to do falsies for an everyday look. Most people would not. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a pair of falsies. I just got these last night at Walgreens. They are the Ilure X Ann Lee So Lovely Lashes. And they're super fluffy, super pretty. Okay, I'm gonna pop on this next lash. Now I'm going to quickly go in with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I'm just going to line my waterline. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Glow Kit in Gleam. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Starburst Highlight. Just on a Real Techniques setting brush. And I'm just going to dust that on the tops of my cheekbones. These highlighters are like my absolute faves. They're so gorgeous, they're so pigmented. They do have quite a bit of fallout, but honestly doesn't bother me. Crazy how a little bit of highlight can change your life. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my NYX Butter Gloss in Angel Food Cake. Mine's almost gone, so, oh, my chair. Mine's almost gone, so I need to get a new one, but this is one of my favorite glosses ever. I love how pigmented these glosses are, and they are not super sticky they're really nice they glide on well i really like them so i'm just going to take this angel food cake and apply this real quick as you can see it's just like a super pretty nude pink color and it smells like heaven in a bottle Alrighty, last thing is I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Limelight by Alcone setting spray. This is my favorite setting spray. You can also purchase this one through the link that I can send you if you want to get this one or the foundation. Either one, you can just message me and I can send you the link to get those. 
Also, I wanted to mention about the foundation, if you are nervous about what um, shade you would be because you do have to order it, I have a little quiz that I can send you from BuzzFeed. Um, and it's a little quiz that you can take that will tell you what shade you are in the Limelight Foundation. So if you are interested, make sure you get a hold of me, message me, comment on this video, something like that. And I can send you that quiz so you can take it and then we can get it ordered for you. A lot of the foundations tend to be on back order because they are so popular. But I know they do have, um, I'm using Olive One. And that's the one that I use today. So they do have that one in stock right now because I checked last night. So they do have that one. So if you are about the same color as me or a little bit darker and you want that one, they do have it. So I can send you the link and you can purchase that one. The other ones, you may have to wait a few weeks. But honestly, at the end of the day, it's worth it. So now after talking for a million years, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. <laughs> Okay guys, and that completes this look on just my everyday go-to kind of glam look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a like if you did enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post videos every single week, and you don't want to miss them. So I love you guys, I'm praying for you, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Slay all day, and don't forget to pray. <laughs> Now that I have not remember, I got to pray. Pray, just gotta make it today. Blend and slay all day. Blend and slay all day. Guess that song. If you can name it, I'll be really proud. Honestly, I'll be really proud. That song stuck in my head all the time. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but if you can name it, comment below, tell me what it is. You guys just watch, this is gonna be a thing. People aren't trying to spend $15 for a shoelace to go around your neck when you could just take one off your shoe and tie it around, right? Like, I'm inventive, I'm smart. This is a good idea.